What's going on? This is Alex with Metastophically Gaming. Today we are going to open up five set boosters of Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth, a set that I've been super excited about and finally have uh, a box of it for myself. Um, we are going to open the box topper today as well, um, so we'll see what we can get out of there. I think the most valuable card you can get is going to be a Surge Foil of the Ancient Tomb. Um, which would be really awesome to see. There's also very many cool, you know, relics, uh, relics and realms that you can get in there. So I'm super excited to open that up. Uh, we'll save that for last. But first, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into these five set boosters of Lord of the Rings. Alright, so let's get into it here with the first pack. Alright, so starting off we get a Gaia's Revenge for the rare uh, list card, which is pretty cool. Um, I definitely always like seeing the list cards in here, and I feel like the last few sets I've opened have a lot higher probability of getting list cards. Um, might be in my imagination, but I feel like that's a thing. Um, but this is pretty cool, 7 mana for an 8-5 elemental that can't be countered, it has haste, and it can't be the target of non-green spells or abilities from non-green sources. So, really cool. Uh, first card we get from the actual Lord of the Rings set here is a Foil Strider Ranger of the North, uh, which is pretty cool. Obviously Strider is Aragorn while well, he's kind of in uh, exile sort of. Uh, yes. We get a Delighted Halfling, which is a really cool card. Um, kind of gives that Cavern of Souls attached to a creature. Uh, I think this is a very good card, and I'm excited to see that. Uh, we get a Full Art Lash of the Balrog, uh, which is a cool in, uh, sorcery. Uh, as an additional cast to cost this spell, sacrifice a creature or pay four, and then destroy target creature. So, obviously, you get the... Uh, flavor of the Balrog grabbing Gandalf as he was cast off, uh, which is pretty cool. Grishnok Brash Instigator. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, amass orcs too. When you do, until end of turn, gain control of target non-legendary creature and opponent controls with power less than or equal to the amassed army's power. Untap that creature and it gains haste until end of turn. Uh, Grond, which is the, uh, one of the vehicles, so obviously in, in uh, Lord of the Rings, this is the big battering ram that they use to break down the gates of Minas Tirith, which is really cool to see. Uh, Goblin Fire Leaper. Ent Drought, Ent Draft, Ent Drought, Ent Draft, I don't know, I don't know how to say that. Uh, Basin. Two mana for an artifact, tap X, tap it, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature with power X, activate only as a sorcery. Uh, then you get a long list of the Ents, which is a saga with <laughs> uh, six stages on it, which is the most I've seen on a saga. Uh, note a creature type that has not been noted for long list of the Ents. When you cast your next creature spell of that type this turn, that creature enters the battlefield with a, with a plus one plus one counter on it. So, interesting. Birthday Escape. Draw a card, then the ring tempts you. One mana to draw a card and get tempted. Tempting is uh, pretty powerful, so like to see that. Uh, Hithlane Knots, tap target creature and scry one for two, and we get an island in there. Um, I'm not sure if you can get the full art lands in the set boosters, but I really hope that you can because those look amazing and I would love to get all of those I can get my hands on. Um, and we do have another list card, so just, you know, showing exactly what I talked about. They just seem to be very common. Um, we get Brand, one red, gain control of all permanents you own. So that's interesting. Um, interesting card. I don't think I've ever seen that, but it seems like it's good. Uh, here we go. We get an Orcish Bowmasters, which is one of the. Uh, cards that is in a lot of people's discussions for things that may get banned in Commander. Uh, really powerful card, two mana with flash, and when it enters the battlefield and whenever an opponent draws a card except the first one they draw in each of their draw steps, it deals one damage to any target and then you amass orcs one. 
we get a Legolas Master Archer in this really cool uh, showcase frame, which I love. That just looks really cool, and Legolas is one of my favorite characters in The Lord of the Rings. Um, one four with reach, whenever you cast a spell that targets Legolas, Master Archer, put a plus one plus one counter on Legolas. When you cast a spell that targets a creature you don't control, uh, Legolas deals damage equal to its power to up to one target creature. Uh, that is really cool. I love to see that. Um, Orcish Bowmaster is really good. That Legolas card seems very good. Um, this is a really cool looking card. This is, I believe, one of those uh, like art uh, like picture ones where if you get all the cards from this artwork you can put them all together and it'll make the full scene. Um, so we get Pippin's Bravery. For one green mana you may sacrifice a food. If you do, target creature gets plus four, plus four until end of turn. Otherwise, that creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Uh, you cannot pass. Another good flavor uh, card there. Lost to Legend. Um, to, uh, two white, four put target non-land historic permanent onto its into its owner's library, fourth from the top. Um, so, you know, if somebody has something that's really pestering you and they can keep bringing it back from the graveyard, that's one way to get rid of it temporarily, at least. Uh, Grimma Wormtongue, three mana for a 1-4. Your opponents can't gain life, and you can tap it to sacrifice another creature. Target player loses one life. If the sacrificed creature was legendary, amass orcs two. Uh, bag and porter So it looks more like a dwarf than a than a oh it is a dwarf actually might, would help if I read the card um, Whenever bag and porter attacks it gets plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the number of legendary creatures you control I like that. This is a very much a legends matters set um, Which is very on theme for Lord of the Rings every everything is uh, legendary essentially uh, when Galadrim guide enters the battlefield scry 2 Galadrim Bow, uh, which is a flash equipment for three mana. When Galadrim Bow enters the battlefield, attach it to target creature you control and untap that creature. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one, plus one, plus two, and has reach. Um, Shower of Arrows. And then, so this answers my question. We can get these really nice full art lands. Uh, this is super cool flavor-wise. Uh, because I just love, I love everything about Lord of the Rings. I love the lore, I love the maps, I love everything. It is just super cool, and I'm excited to see those uh, full art lands. Uh, I hope we can get more of them in these packs. Moving on to the next one here. So this is the first pack. We do not get a list card, uh, but instead we get a food token with uh, nothing on the back there. Uh, Willow Wind. So foil... 3-4 for 5 mana. Don't really think that's too great. Uh, we get the Horn of Gondor, which is a 3 mana art legendary artifact. When it enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. Tap 3, tap it. Create X 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature tokens, where X is the number of humans you control. So that's a humans matter. Um, humans matter card, which can you know get out of hand really quick, because humans are usually very cheap and spawn other humans so i like to see that uh rising of the day three mana for an enchantment creatures you control have haste and legendary creatures you control get plus one plus zero i think that's a really cool card and i love the art on that um entish restoration which is a cool way to search up lands you can sac uh, sacrifice a land search your library for up to two basic land cards and put them onto the battlefield tapped then shuffle if you control a creature with a power of four or greater, instead search your library for up to three basic land cards and put them onto the battlefield tapped. Uh, quick Bean, Quick Beam, Upstart Ent, six mana for five six. When it enters, when it, it or another tree folk enters the battlefield under your control, up to two target creatures get plus two plus two and gain trample until end of turn. I like that. Um, big green creature does big green things. Uh, Landraval Horizon Witness is a legendary bird noble, so one of Gwaihir's eagles. 3-4 flying, whenever two or more creatures you control attack a player, target attacking creature without flying, gains flying until end of turn. Uh, one mana for Wizard's Rockets. Wizard's Rockets enters the battlefield tapped, and you can tap X and tap it to sacrifice it, and add X mana in any combination of colors when it's put into a graveyard from the battlefield draw card. Uh, Ents Fury. Um, oh, sorry, skip into this because it's beautiful. We get a foil full art uh, swamp. 
which is awesome. And I'm going to put that aside because I'm going to put those in every deck I possibly can. Uh, Great Hall of the Citadel. Uh, tap for colorless or tap one colorless and tap it. Add two mana in any combination of colors as long as you spend it only to cast legendary spells. Um, so pretty cool pack there. Um, I think Orcish Bowmasters is is one of the cards that I'm, I'm glad I got one already. Uh, I would like to get more of those because they're fantastic and I think it could find a place in very many decks. Uh, we do get a list card here, Hoarding Dragon. When Hoarding Dragon enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an artifact, exile it, then shuffle your library. When it dies, you may put the exiled card into its owner's hand. Uh, we get a Foil Sam's Desperate Rescue. Um, so it looks pretty cool. Just one black mana return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand and the ring tempts you. So it's pretty good. Uh, first mythic here, we get a Mount Doom. Um, so you can pay one, tap it and pay one life to add black or red. And then tap one, one black and one red and tap it to uh, have it deal one damage to each opponent. Or five, a black and a red, and tap it to sacrifice Mount Doom and a legendary artifact and choose up to two creatures, then destroy the rest and activate this only as a sorcery. Really cool card, uh, really cool flavor, obviously, with the destroying of an artifact. Um, and then only Sam and, and uh, Frodo survive. Uh, Eomer, Marshal of Rohan, in the you know, picturesque... Uh, art here we get the 4-4 human knight with haste whenever one or more other attacking legendary creatures you control die untap all creatures you control after this phase there's an additional combat phase this ability triggers only once each turn so pretty cool way to get additional combats um, if you can sacrifice a creature that's attacking that's legendary uh, we get a quick beam upstart and again in a different art with this you know the the picture frame essentially um, Gandalf friend of the Shire which is really cool to see uh, flash 2-4 you may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash and whenever the ring tempts you if you choose if you chose a creature other than Gandalf friend of the Shire as your ring bearer draw a card uh, Elrond Lord of Rivendell is a 3-2 whenever Elrond Lord of Rivendell or another creature enters the battlefield under your control scribe one if this is the second time this ability is resolved this turn, the ring tempts you. Uh, horses of the Bruinen, uh, which is those river horses that stopped the Nazgul from following them if you watched the movies or read the books. Uh, return up to two target creatures to your, their hands, scry one, and the ring tempts you. Uh, Lorien revealed. Draw three cards for five or island cycling for one. Um, being able to island cycle, it does not specify basic, so that's actually good for one mana. You can search for, you know, your watery grave or whatever you need. Uh, three mana for inherited envelope. When an inherited envelope enters the battlefield, the ring tempts you and you can tap it for one of any color. So good mana rock that tempts you. Uh, we get an island in that nice full art. So far we've gotten three full art lands and one non-full art land, so not bad. Good ratio there for me, because that's all I want, are the beautiful full art lands. Uh, we do get a tentacle, which is not focusing. Um, so this is a token for that, uh, shoot, I can't remember the name of it, if I'm being honest, but it's basically uh, the Watcher in the Water, I think it's called. Uh, we get Frodo Baggins, which is a 2 mana, 1 white, 1 green, 1-3, uh, when Frodo Baggins or another legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control, the ring tempts you. And as long as Frodo is your ring bearer, it must be blocked if able. Um, we get Baradur, another legendary land. Uh, enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a, a legendary creature. You tap it for 1 black, or you can tap... X twice and black and tap it and amass orcs X. Activate only if a creature died this turn. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, X X is a lot to pay, but I feel like in certain mono black decks where you can use cabal coffers or you know various other ways of p pumping up your mana, it's probably going to be pretty good. Uh, we do get a Nazgul, which is three mana for one two with death touch. When it enters the battlefield, the ring tempts you. And whenever uh, whenever the ring tempts you, put a plus one plus one counter on each wraith you control. And you can have up to nine Nazgul in your deck, which is obviously a flavor win. 
uh, Samwise the Stout Hearted in that cool showcase there. Uh, Dunland Crabane in that awesome like portrait style. The Bath Song, The Grey Havens, Relentless Rohirrim, Rally the Hornburg, Coral's End, and a beautiful Plains card. So that's going to be all of those packs. And now we can move on to this beautiful Realms and Relics topper. So let's go ahead and open this and see if we can get something really cool out of it. And let's try not to, all right, cool. So not peek at it. All right, so let's see what we get. And we get a Meduseld Golden Hall of Adorus, which is Castle Ardenvale. Well, looks like the camera died right as we were getting to the end of that. But that's gonna be the end of today's video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.